Hi everyone. So this week I took part in a competition where you have to try and explain what your research is in just three minutes. It's a competition called Three Minute Thesis. It was really, really good. Uh, sadly, I didn't win, but I think I did okay. Uh, and I got some good feedback from the judges. So, but anyway, I'm going to do this video here and I'm going to show you what my Three Minute Thesis was. Uh, and it'll also explain what my work and my research is. And hopefully you find it quite interesting. So I hope you enjoy. Archaeologists are able to study ancient fossils, understand how humans and animals have evolved over millions of years. But despite trying, us astrophysicists have found it pretty hard to find any fossils in space. So how do astrophysicists learn what the universe used to be like and how it's evolved and changed over millions and billions of years? Well, I have a secret to tell you. We've invented a time machine that lets us look back in time. You don't need a flux capacitor or some kind of hot tub to be able to do this. All you need is a simple telescope to be able to look back billions of years into the past. So how does a telescope let us look back in time? Well, Albert Einstein told us one crucial thing, that the speed of light is finite. That means it takes a certain amount of time for light to travel from here to here. You might have known the fact that it takes around 8 minutes for light from the sun to reach us down here on Earth. This means when we look at the sun, we're actually seeing what it looked like eight minutes ago, not what it looks like right now. So when we look at more distant objects like stars and galaxies, we're actually seeing what they look like thousands, millions or billions of years ago, depending on how far away they are from us. So what do we do with this incredible power? Well, I study galaxies, giant collections of billions of stars in the universe. If you don't know what a galaxy is, imagine galaxies being like islands in the sea. Like islands, they're complex, detailed and have lots of features that are separated by a large empty expanse of nothingness, which is ocean in terms of islands, or space in terms of our galaxies. And as galaxies contain almost all the stars, planets, and complex material in the universe, understanding how galaxies have evolved and changed lets us understand how the universe as a whole has evolved and changed. So what have we found out so far? Well, I have some bad news for you. The universe is dying. Let me explain. Imagine galaxies being like a gas lantern. Gas lantern is filled with gas which uses to fuel a flame, which burns really bright and creates heat. But the flame uses up the gas, and when the gas runs out, the flame dies. Well, the same thing happens in galaxies. So galaxies are filled with hydrogen gas, which they use to fuel and to create stars. But the stars use up the gas, and when the gas is all gone, the stars no more can be created in galaxies. From our research, we found there was a peak in the number of stars being created throughout galaxies in the universe, around 11 billion years ago. And since then, less and less stars are being created in the universe as the gas is beginning to run out. And just as eventually our gas lantern will go dark when it runs out of gas, so will our universe. But don't worry, this great dark isn't going to happen for trillions of years, so you don't need to write in your diaries quite yet. But in which case, why do we care how galaxies evolve and change? Well, we care to fulfil our need as humans for knowledge. How did the universe begin? How is the universe evolving? How might the universe ever end? Because understanding how planets, stars, galaxies and the universe has evolved and changed is as important to human history as digging up old bones. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed this and you're interested in the competition, you can take part. I'll put a link somewhere up around here. You don't have to be in science to do it, you just have to be in some kind of research. It's really, really good fun, so I really recommend doing it. Otherwise, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to check out the rest of my channel for some great science videos. Don't forget to like and subscribe. But otherwise, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys all soon. Imagine a parallel universe where the greatest minds were sent to create the perfect world. A world without war, without hunger, without devastation, where you could build anything that you could imagine. Well, this is the plot of the latest Disney film Tomorrowland. But are jetpacks, androids and parallel worlds really possible? Well, let's take a look at the science behind the film Tomorrowland. 